Hey there, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. We are back with another episode of Sprite Lovers. We've got our good buddy Oleg, aka up, Mr. Fantastic, and his whiskers here. Um, we are actually uh, going to a Halloween party in the wonderful city of Buffalo with our good friend Scott Gribsy42. So we're gonna yeah. do a little game hunting uh, while we're out that way. Uh, don't have too much money to spend, but it's always good to look. And uh, we figured we'd document the trip and uh, show you some cool sights along the way. So. Stay tuned. <laughs> we look like a bunch of tourists. <laughs> So Megan is uh, using the restroom right now, but uh, I just wanted to show off our new game room. It's a little upgrade from the last one we had because uh, it's got a lot of the games we have plus a bazillion more that we don't have. And uh, one of the one of my newest acquisitions is uh, this little game right here. Yeah, just uh, you know, I got it for a few bucks, pretty good deal. So uh, hope you like the new game room because this is gonna be the new backdrop for Sprite Lovers from now on. <laughs> what is that sniffling sound? Sounds like a little weasel or something. Oh wait. There's, a, there's already pests in my new game room. We're in the house of Scott right now, and he is uh, dressed as a psycho killer and playing some Pac-Man because you know missing the mask. Yes, but this is how uh, most psychopaths spend their free time. They play uh, <laughs> play games like Pac-Man. This is what serial killers do. When <laughs> well, and you know that's why you can play video games for everything. And we also got a centipede over here, and then we have uh, Biff Tannen over here. What are you looking at, butthead? Who are you calling a butthead, butthead? <laughs> we get a big fight. <laughs> oh, we missed the winning moment. I won. But yeah, the Scott's wonderful hospitality, so we can spend the night here and uh, enjoy the Halloween party. So, and you guys get another glimpse that has been in uh, some of Scott's episodes when he was downstairs, but first yeah. time in a Sprite Lovers episode. I was to say I don't show this too much. Biff is taking a turn here on Pac-Man. This was uh, this is basically Biff's Back to the Future moment where he goes to the future and he's like, wow, in 15 years they're going to have arcade machines like this? I'm so used to pinball and shooting galleries. Because <laughs> video games would probably be in the f 15 years past, it would be actually 50, 15 years past uh, 1955, you know, you'd have uh, yeah, some video games. I don't know about Pac-Man. What date? Oh, that was 1980, so no, it would be like 
Or would it be? I don't know. Whatever. Math. I'm just doing math right now. <laughs> and then over here, Lady Vegeta. Who is uh, out of focus? Kakarot! Megan's awesome homemade costume. That's all I have to say. Pretty cool. I, I can't get the voice down of Vegeta. But, she's but, got, yes. but you got the homemade costume down for sure. Yes, made out of uh, little boys extra large. Uh, ninja. Megan somewhere. likes to get in little boys' clothes on yeah, Halloween. This is the little boys' <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, leotard. Kakarot. <laughs> and then, uh, Megan, much Megan, why don't you, uh, yes. show the world? This is my counterpart dressed as Fat Goku. <laughs> uh, Fat Goku doing the thing. Doing the thing. That's Megan's Super Saiyan thing. thing. Super Saiyan. But, yeah, so. And he's a blind guy. Yeah, apparently. he needs glasses. <laughs> All the strain from. He gets, has, like, uh, what are those things that you get in your eyes? I don't know, but whatever. From eye strain, <laughs> you get those. So. <laughs> you look good. so after a long night of drinking and partying, which we didn't get too much footage of, but we had a great time at Scott's. It was a really fun time. And now we're on our way home, and we decided to stop in Rochester at Eastview Mall in Victor, New York, because there's a game craze and a game stop in here. So we figured we'll check there and see what we can find. But we got some pickups at Oogie Games in uh, the... Uh, Buffalo area, so always a good chain to check out when we're there. And now we are, guys, we're, I just telling everybody we're at the Eastview Mall to try and do a little last minute game hunting. What the hell are we? Eastview Mall in Victor. So that's where we're heading. Uh, stay tuned, we'll so, show you what we find. At, like we mentioned, at the Eastview Mall here in Victor, we're gonna check out Game Craze. I've been to this one once and it was a good experience, so hopefully it'll be a good experience yeah. this time. So let's, uh, good. let's see what they got. Let's see. Alright guys, so uh, we decided to get, get a little basic. little basic at the end of our trip here. We're going to pumpkin spice latte. Some basic bitches um, right yeah, here. Yeah, that's us. But, that's um, us. <laughs> so, yeah, it was a good trip. Uh, we had a lot of fun. And, um, I'm tired though. We're really tired. <laughs> but uh, the camera is and not camera. cooperating. It's not cooperating on the road. But anyway, um, we're going to show off some quick pickups that we got. Uh, starting with the most important one. Uh, oh, for, for 99 cents, this we got holy grail right here. Homey Rollers, which is uh, in a Uki Games case. It's 99 cents, but it's those little racist toys that are like uh, generalizations yeah. of ghetto characters and stuff. Yeah. And they made a kart racer based off of it, so we thought it'd be kind of funny to see what the hell I think we watched a video recently that featured like 10 or 15 of the most racist games. Yeah, and that was on. We were like, oh my gosh, so we gotta see that. That was like, I think number three. It's just so lame. Four. But, um, the and then this game we found at the game craze in the mall that we went to. It's uh, one we have loose, and the, it's in really good uh, shape, complete. And so we just decided to get it to complete our copy. And that's Pac Man Collection for Game Boy Advance. Really good quality. Does that have this Pac Man? No, it has Pac Man, Pac Attack, Pac Mania, and Pac Man Arrangement. Which looks like a differently graphic top down version of weird looking, but kind of cool. Again. Yeah, we're gonna, this is gonna be lopsided the whole time, so <laughs> apologize everybody for the jumpy video. Um, but then we have, this is just an uncommon Natsume published game that I ever see. It's probably awful because it's a math game. It's called Math Play, but we love collecting DS and it's 99 cents, so we're not gonna not. complain there. And then, um, this was an awesome find. This was at the Game Craze in the mall. 99 cents, and it's an Atlas game to add to the collection. And uh, for 99 cents, you'd expect the worst game than this, but it's a pretty cool looking anime fighter <coughs> called Draglade. So I got that for 99 cents. And it's in 
it's fantastic an awesome shape. Condition. Yeah, like it looks like a brand new game. It just we took the stickers off and it still looks brand new. So ninety nine cents, I'm not gonna complain. Uh, this is a cool reboot of the franchise for PlayStation called Blaster Master Blasting Again. Uh, watched a video of it. I think GameSack had some footage of it, and it actually it doesn't look too bad. It's not as good as the original, but pretty cool. Um, this is a just another Wii, oh, yeah. cheap Wii Common, uh, but it's I say common, but it's really actually un hard to find now in our area. Um, but added it to our it list. This looks cute. I picked it up because hey, ninety nine. Anubis two. Oh. That looks like a platformer. Yeah, the Egyptian themed. And then uh, this is an uncommon Wii game that goes for real cheap. Uh, solitaire and Mahjong. Never see that in Syracuse. So. It's an interesting combination. That, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, and then this one we see all the time. In fact, it's at Megan's store, but it doesn't have this slip cover, so we bought it for like a dollar or something. It's Medieval Games, and as you can see, it's got, it's got a cool shiny, shiny slip cover. So we at least got it for that. We can just get a better, the better copy. It's so funny how we just love shiny shit. Shiny, we love like games with shiny. It's, it's the game is shiny. I shiny mean, it could or be a, lenticular it could be covers. The worst. Or... It could be like a turd and like, and we're like it's, it's shiny. shiny like, yep. We gotta get it. This is probably a turd, but it's shiny. So, <laughs> um, and then the next game. This is the crown jewel of today. I've been looking for this for a while. I am super and, jealous of that, you bastard. Oh, I'm jealous. Of wait, wait. It's Guilty Gear Judgment for the PSP. And what makes this interesting, you know, Guilty Gear is a good fighting franchise anyway. But this is actually a side-scrolling beat em up with the Guilty Gear characters and graphics in it. You know, if you've ever played a Guilty Gear, it has some of the best 2D art ever. So, like, imagine a beat-em-up with the art of Guilty Gear and the music as, like, the rocket music. And what's cool, too, this has the complete Guilty Gear X2 Reload, which I believe I have that for original Xbox. So, cool to have a fighting game on here, too. So, it's a great value. It was real cheap, under 10 bucks. So, um, Oleg's going to get a couple of that. I'll be getting that by the end of the day. Yeah, <laughs> he's going to find it somewhere. And then, um... These two games were ones that Scott had actually picked up when he did a little game hunting out of town. Um, I, he asked if there was anything we were looking for. And uh, the first one was a trade for uh, something that I had that he wanted. Oh, this is going everywhere. Oh, oh, disaster. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to hold it. So, Technical difficulty. So, cross edge for I like, the like PS3. shoddy driving. It's Oleg's fault, always. But no, it's uh, cross edge for PS3. It's an NIS game. And uh, it's not the best game I've heard, but it's very uncommon. So thanks, Scott, for making the trade for that. And then another one. This game is like 99 cents if you can find it at a GameStop. But good luck because they're just dropping out of GameStops. And it's called Wartech Sendo No Ronde. That was really interesting. And it's... Um, the best way I can describe it, from what I've seen in videos and the pictures, it looks like a shmup. You see bullets and stuff, like a. So you think it's a shoot 'em up with lots of bullet hell kind of enemies to dodge and stuff. But then it looks like it's actually a one on one fighter between mechs. So I think it kind of blends genres and uh, looks very neat, very uncommon. So that was another thing Scott picked up out of town. And cheap. And cheap. So always good. And that's pretty much everything we got. Now, as far as what Oleg got, you'll have to tune into his uh, channel. We don't really care. We don't care, either. first of all, on our channel. But this is Sprite Lovers, not Mr. Sintastic. Yeah. But if you go to Mr. Sintastic Presents, I guess, <laughs> if you're bored or whatever. And, you uh, got to be really bored. You got to be really bored. Then you can check it out on his channel. So, But we had a good time overall. I'd I'm say. actually going to do a two-parter. Nice. I'll do the trip itself. And then... I'll do the pickups with Mini Sintastic. Ah, and I'll actually combine it, it. I'll combine it with all my October pickups because we're already nearing the end of October. So I'll wait till the end of the yeah. month. Because yeah. there's actually a couple of new release games that I'm going to get. So nice. I'll wait Might for those well to get out. Get those and, in your collection. So. And I'll, I'll do it that way. So I'm going to do a two part on this. Yeah, so stay tuned to, to see that on his channel. It's uh, definitely uh, looking forward to seeing that and seeing what else you got because I know you told me you hinted at some of the things you got. I got some over. amazing stuff this month. So, yeah. One but, of my best months. So, overall, great weekend. Thanks again, Scott, for hosting a fun uh, yes. Halloween party and letting us crash there. And uh, it was good to do a little game hunting in Buffalo. So, yeah. until the next time, guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you, you in the future. Fist in your your Starbucks basic bitch drinks. Yeah. Woo! Starbucks place, man.